you happy with that? Yeah. Hiya. Confessions of a conveyancer. It's Wednesday night, 8 p.m. I have guest. Hi. This is Haley from the Inspired Space. Gizmo's on the ground. He's oh, yes. been kicked off the couch for tonight. Sorry, We've got Haley instead. So Haley, tell us a little bit about your business. So I have uh, my business called the Inspired Space and I started it two and a half years ago. Um, I worked in real estate prior and thought there was a bit of a space in the market here for a property stylist. So started the business and we essentially help you get ready to sell your home. So we come in and help you um, prepare it, whether it be empty, full of your furniture, half furnished, we can help you. So what tonight is all about is we're going to talk to you about taking your home from living mode to sale mode, why you should do that and how you should do that. So let's start off with the why, yeah? Yes. So we've got our top three tips, three, three tips. It's hard to get it down to three, but three, we've got three. We've got it down to three because <laughs> we couldn't talk for three hours, so we've got it down to three. Three top tips about why you should turn your sale property from living mode into sale mode, all right? Hey, Andrea. <laughs> all right, so Haley, number one tip why you should turn your property from living mode to sale mode. Yes. Um, the first one for me is to create interest and a bit of a buzz around your property. So online presence is really important. So creating that buzz and getting that really big online presence is super important. And when we talk about buzz, we also mean like buzz, if you get, if you're going to an open house and there's 10 other couples there, you, you want to be a part of it. What's going absolutely. on? Yeah, I absolutely. want to get through it. And that creates real competitive edge with purchasers wanting to buy as well. So yeah. buzz, competitive absolutely. edge. So that's our number one reason to create interest and buzz. Number yep. two, top tip for turning it into sale mode. Um, is to create a lifestyle for people. So when people are buying a property, it's about creating value and giving them a lifestyle. So um, evoking that emotion from them and selling them a vision. Yeah, so Different yeah, exactly. So when you've got a purchaser and they're coming through the property, they want to vision that lifestyle that they could buy. So you want them to think about the family dinner they're gonna have there Absolutely. or the pool party or yep. the, growing the kids up there. So that's huge. Absolutely. So that's our number two. Uh, number three reason is uh, for me, maximizing value and helping you get a quick sale. So um, obviously when we're selling a home or any property, we want to get the, the best sale price that we can in the shortest amount of time. So turning your property from living mode to sale mode will definitely help those factors. Yeah. And Anyone that makes a tough decision or good decision to sell their home, everyone wants to do it for the best price they can get and the quickest turnaround they can get. Yeah. So that is our top three reasons about why you should turn your home from living mode to sale mode. So we've talked about why it's so important, but now the real critical one is how can you do that? So this is why we've brought Haley on board tonight. She's gonna give us her professional tips and some of them are really interesting, yeah? So stick with us, and we've narrowed it down to three again. Three top tips yep. how we are going to create that. So how do we create mm -hmm. that buzz? Yep. How do we create that vision, that lifestyle, and how do we maximize our sale price? Yep. So the first one for me uh, is decluttering. And it's not necessarily just taking your huge trinkets off shelves and things like that. Decluttering is a whole lot more, particularly when you're turning your house into sale mode. So. For me, um, getting rid of big bulky items of furniture that are unnecessary. So you've got a dining room and you've got a beautiful big dining table and a buffet. The buffet is functional for you in living mode, but for sale mode, it, it doesn't need to be there to make the space functional. So we need to create flow when you know we're talking about, we had an open for inspection at a house I styled a few weeks, so we had 34 groups through, the agent had 34 groups through. That's you know potentially, that's dozens of people. So we wanna make sure that we create flow in the space for people to walk around. So decluttering is, is super, super important. Um, Depersonalising is part of that process, which is always really tough. <laughs> yeah, this is a really interesting one when I spoke to Hayley that, uh, you know, I thought I knew a bit, but this is a really great one. So talk to us a little bit about how depersonalising is part of the decluttering process yep. and why it's so important. So it's always really tricky, particularly if you've had a home that you've lived in for 20 years and you've got grandkids up on the wall, it's always really hard. but. Um, taking down the family photos uh, helps the process of a buyer coming in and seeing the house as their house. So 
it's it's one that we kind of hear about but probably overlooked a little bit you want people to walk in and see it as their house and not yours which is yeah we want hard. to create that vision yeah but absolutely. if they're looking at nan, nine year old <laughs> yes. grandma so was, oh yeah. yeah oh you know yeah. the first day at school they can't vision themselves there so yeah I love that one about declutter. Yes. yes. Um, and with declutter, you were telling me even get rid of some really huge pieces of furniture as well. Yeah. So take them out if they're not necessarily uh, if they're not necessary and um, they're not serving a purpose in a the space. Then absolutely take them out to help help create that flow. Um, another one is the scale of furniture. So sometimes we, you know, in our lounge room, we might have massive lounge suites, which is great when everyone's you know sitting down watching a movie, but. Uh, when we're trying to show off the house, we want to make the space feel light, bright and big. So if you've got a two-seater and a three-seater in your living room and it's huge and it's blocking walkways and things, maybe get rid of the two-seater and just have your three just to create a bit more space. And with the flow that Haley's talking about, let's yep. not forget about the flow when people are doing their open house. They want to walk through the yep. rooms and not be fighting to get through. And, the, and you want them to come into the open home and actually be able to see everything, not have another couples there and they they, lose, they just go, oh, we won't worry about that room. There's too many people yes, there. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, make space. Um, and the, the thing is, I think with decluttering, the, the question I get the most is how do I do it? Everyone talks about declutter, but how do I do it? And my advice is, grab a box and a bag and just start. So pick a room just and do, do it. it. It can be super overwhelming when you've got um, you know, 20, 30 years or even five years worth of stuff in a house. Um, just get a box and a bag. Anything that you want to keep, start the packing process. Put it in boxes, put it in the garage and label it. Think of you know getting a head start on packing for your move. Anything that you don't need, get rid of it. Donate to Finney's, put it in the bin. Perfect, so that's yep. our number one of our how we change the home yep. into sale mode. So number two, I love this one. That's my favorite. It's yep. my favorite. It's create the feels. feels. It's not create the feeling, it's create the feels. And Haley, tell me a little bit about this one. I love this one. So this is my favorite and this is where I come into it as a stylist. Um, so it's all about you know the warm and fuzzies and telling a story and creating that lifestyle vision for people. So you know there's really basic ones like making sure you turn your heating and cooling on. So whether it be winter or summer, at the moment like it's it's starting to warm up, thank goodness. But we've had a really cold winter and there's nothing worse than walking into a house on a Saturday morning and it's nine degrees outside and it's you know, yeah. The same you just turn inside. around and leave. You yeah. want to walk in and feel warm and yeah. fuzzy yeah. and and have a look there and go. Yeah. I could imagine myself having a cup of hot chocolate here. Absolutely. The last thing you want is for people to walk out and not be able to concentrate and all they can think about is how cold they are or how hot they are or that was known as the really cold house that we went to. They can't you know, see it as their home. So um, that's really simple one and uh, the smell. Smells huge and it's not a hard one to do. You don't have to put a cake in the oven or anything like that. Just some candles and a diffuser, nothing that's super offensive. But again, if you walk into a house and it doesn't smell super good. Super offensive. <laughs> no, you know, like you get those diffusers and candles that are just like hey, blue lunch. No, you don't know that. So yeah, just something yeah. that's, you know, really neutral. Yeah. And um, yeah, the, the last thing you want is your house to be known as a house that smelled a bit funky. So, you know, we want it to smell nice. The house that was freezing, smelt funky, you're out of there. Yeah, yeah, not shortlisted whatsoever. Um, and on that one, yep. a really great topic that you talked to me about with the feels is yep. creating a story for every room. Yep. I love this. Yes. I love this idea. So it's um, helping give purpose to each space. So don't, you know, we don't want to have a room that's kind of a gym, but it's kind of a lounge room. We want to give it a purpose. So when you're talking about a marketing plan too with your real estate agent, and this is something that I discuss with agents as well, is um, you know was it designated you know four bedroom two living and if we're if we're staging a whole house we make sure that we stage it and style it in line with the marketing plan. Yeah, um, so if you say it's a four yeah. bedroom and a study, it's not four bedroom and a gym and a rumpus. You want to show a study. Yeah, because that's yeah. what people want to see, and yeah. they want to see the functional space and um, yeah, to see what the purpose is, and they can then envision it as something else if they need to, but. Um, I think the biggest thing, you know, they did, a, I think CVA did a study a few years ago and something like, re actually really close to 50% of people said they paid more for a property because they just really liked it and literally that's what it was and that's where that feeling comes from. They can't tell you why they liked it it's and why they instinct. paid more. Yep. They just walked in and felt really good. So as a stylist, that's my job and that's um, the things that you can do on your own in a lot of cases. Um, just help create that that feel. Create that people. feel so that they walk yep. in and they just have to have that property. They visioned yep. their home there, whatever it is that they need to go. I just need to have that property. Yeah, and it's that first impression. You know, to, like buyers will decide within twenty seconds of walking into a house. 
um, whether or not it's something that they can see themselves living in and want to see more of. So we want them to walk in and just feel really good about the space. And you know, like you walk into your favorite restaurant or you walk into to a friend's house, it just feels good. A and atmosphere. You don't, it's yeah, absolutely. Atmosphere, yeah. And you don't know why. You kind of don't go, oh, that you know, that sofa um, is you know perfectly in proportion with that rug, and that that's you know perfectly in proportion with this. You don't notice that it just feels good. So that's as a stylist, that's my job to, to create that feeling for people. Yeah, that yep. I really like that. And it's, yep. you got to remember, it's that creating that feeling that's yep. going to help us with the why we're doing it, which is to maximize yes. value and turn around a quick sale. Yeah, because like every vendor wants a quick sale oh, yeah. and they want to get the best money for their yep. buck. Okay, so we're going to finish off with our number three: how to prepare that home for sale mode. Yes. This one's obvious, but it always gets yeah, missed. Yeah. Yes. So it's um, cleanliness. So we talk about, you know, it's not just cleaning the house. It's the perception, I guess, when, you know, you walk into a dirty home is that potentially if they haven't cleaned it properly, what else haven't they done? So are there going to be nasty surprises that I find or, along the or way? Or have they done or, a do Yeah, I find also yeah. if, if something, if they haven't cleaned, what else have they done? Have they just done a bodge job somewhere else with a painting or something Absolutely. else? Yeah. Yeah. So it's that just taking care and, and making the property feel like someone's really taking care of it. So that's super important. Um, and I think to, you know, you could go and go and go with repairs. If, it, if you're not selling a brand new home, every, every home that's lived in has things about it that need attention. Yeah. So it's knowing and understanding where to stop and what's going to give you a return. So, exactly. And, and Hayley, that's where a stylist and a real estate agent definitely. are great consults because Absolutely. the people because you can say how much money am I going to spend doing up these little things and 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 you'll say okay well I'm gonna to speak to the real estate agent and you can establish what people's yep. budget is for yep. making those small repairs so some great tips yep. so let's just do a bit of a recap yeah so yeah I feel like we've just <laughs> flown over I could talk about this for hours but um... so today was all about why you should turn your home from living mode into sale mode and who knew they were two different things that that's the biggest thing is people yep. don't realize that they are two very different things so we're turning that house from home mode or living mode into yep. sale mode the three reasons why were to create more interest and buzz Give a buzz yep yep create yep. more interest and buzz and yep. really get the purchaser market out there happening um, number two, to sell a lifestyle and create emotion for people, create the feels for people. Create the feels. Yep. And number three was probably the most important when you're talking about budget, maximize value and getting a really quick sale. Hey, just into Jess and Joe, three Joes, three J's in a row that just, thanks for jumping on. So you just missed what we're talking about. And, and Jacinta, you're going to love this one. Jacinta works at a real estate agent. Ah, cool. So yep. this one's all about creating your home from a living mode into a selling mode to really get it ready for sale we've talked about why you should do that and we're also talking about the how and the why mm -hmm. so the how Haley's come on board to give us her top three tips of how so we'll just quickly cover them again and guys don't forget you can jump in comments if you've got any questions for Haley. she's here quick hit her up it's free <laughs> hit her up any questions <laughs> But just free for tonight, I should say. That's okay. Just free for tonight. So, hey, Amy, top three reasons we've talked about, but now we're going to say the top three stylist tips yep. on how to change that living mode to sale mode. Number one? Declutter. Declutter, 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 everything. Your furniture, you know, um, address everything. It's not, don't just, you know, pack a few books away. It's, yep. Be ruthless. Be ruthless. Yep. No more grandma photos. Sorry, grandma. No one wants to see the <laughs> Elmo seventh birthday cake no, photos. No, I'm sorry. Get I'm rid of it. We yep. want to declutter. Yep. Um, and also you're talking about how amazing that makes your marketing photos. Yes, it's super important. Marketing photos and your online presence is massive and having shelves and shelves of books and trinkets Andrea. just don't. What are you doing? We knew somebody oh. would do that. Thanks, yes. Andrea. Somebody yes. was going to jump on tonight. <laughs> We actually thought somebody was going to jump on and say, Hayley, what colour do I paint my kitchen? So, um, yeah, yeah, which I can tell you, but it's just, yeah, okay. Polka dot for you, Andrea. Yes. Okay. Purple. Um, number two, our favourites. Create, Create the feels. feels. Yep. So we want to get people in. They want to fall in love with the place. You want to have different rooms with different stories. Yep. Tell a story through the whole house. So if I'm styling a house, I kind of go, who would live here? Who's my target market? 
um, and really appeal and pull at the heartstrings of, of them without, I guess, um, closing your marketing too much. Because we want to appeal to a wide audience, but while keeping in mind um, who will actually be living in the house and who, who could be living in the house now. Yeah. Yep. And last one is cleanliness. Yes. Um, cleanliness, repairs and maintenance, super, super important. It's all about that perception of buyers coming in. So, um, and if you're not sure about where I stop and how much money I spend, talk to your agent, talk to someone like me. Uh, we can give you some advice and tell you what kind of a return you're expected to get on those little investments. Yeah. Yep. So, um, Hayley, where can people contact you if they want some more advice? Uh, Facebook, Instagram, website, all under the inspired space. So. As you know, we always have to have a confession to finish off with. As <laughs> Haley is my guest, I've asked her to do the confession. No, you told me two, I told two her. seconds before we started. And I love this confession. This is a real business owner confession. Yeah. So what, what's your confession, Haley? So people say to me all the time, your house must look amazing. And my confession is, no, it doesn't. Because I steal pieces from my own house to help furnish other houses. So currently my house is looking very bare because I've pinched artwork and so everything is everywhere else instead of her house. So even tonight yeah. I was like, do you want me to come over? You've got kids, it'll be easier. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> There's no feels at her house right now. But it's no not feels. on the market. So That's it's in okay. living mode. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very much. Now gang, if there is some really Did you good information, I don't have to, it's your night. Oh, okay. <laughs> My confession, all right, this is my confession for today's podcast, tonight's Facebook Live, is when I'm here with the pretty light on, I don't actually wear shoes. <laughs> you beat die. <laughs> okay, so um, gang, share it out. There's some really fun information here. As you've seen, there's a few things here you can even do yourself without having to spend any money. Um, but if you think yep. you need some more help, you know, reach out to your stylist and have a chat to them. But some really good information. Hayley, thanks for joining me on the thanks couch. Thanks for having me. Thanks, gang. See Bye. you.